Lord, we are. We thank God for making it possible for us to be here today. We thank God for making it possible for us to discipline ourselves to be able to pray. Hallelujah. As you can see, we have our title on here. Lord, help me to be your friend. Lord, help me to be your friend. Hallelujah. But just before we start, I just want to remind us briefly. I want to remind us briefly about the prayer guide that's been set up for all of you. It is free. So kindly please go on and download the prayer guide. Go to our Facebook page, um, NICC, and you will be able to download the prayer guide. Also, the link will also be um, at the end of this prayer. And also, please do remember to join us on YouTube, your NICC. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, so that you can receive um, notifications. Hallelujah. Because we are always bringing good news your way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are going to continue our prayer today. Don't forget our title says, Lord, help me to be a true friend of yours. Wow. <laughs> Wow, most of us, you know, when we talk about something like this, we are like, you know, straight away, we go into false humilities. Like, ah, I don't know, maybe if it is because of guilt. Guilt does not allow us to see ourselves the way God sees us. Oh, the scripture just opened my eyes afresh, you know, as I was reading it. So we are still um, um, in John chapter 15. So we are praying in from verse 15. Um, all the way to 24 um, for the next few days. But let's have a look today. Let's focus between verse 15 to 17. Hallelujah. Wow. Let's see what the word of God says. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, the word of God here says, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. <laughs> Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. Ooh, everything, everything. Hmm. Wow, let's stay on there a bit. Amen. It says, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's master's business instead i have called you friends for everything that i learned from my father i have made known to you so you know christ has reassured us here that i just don't want to call you servants you're not serving me only but i want you to become my friends so because you know i want you to have a closer you know when close friends are really close their relationship is deep you know, they, they, they know everything. Friends that are genuine, friends that are really close. Maybe they are even more than friends. They are sisters or brothers, you know. Um, you have couples that are friends, you know. You have siblings that are more than siblings. They, are, they know they are everything. They go out together. They know how to stand for each other. That's how Christ has come to stand for his father. You know, he says to us, the reason why um, um, I am not calling you only servants, I'm calling you friends. He said, because there's a difference. The servant does not know everything because the servant comes to serve at the end of the month, most servants are being paid and off they go, right? You have few servants that, you know, get to know the, 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 the deepest of the deepest of their masters, you know. But God wants us to have not only a servant relationship with him, but a relationship where we can relate. That's the kind of relationship, you know, the Lord is admonishing us to come out from guilt. Let us come out from self-guilt. That is really hindering us from having a blissful relationship with the Father. It says, even if you have sinned, just come out. You know, confess your sins and move on. He said, I have moved on as high as the mountains are above the earth. He said, thus have I removed your transgressions away from you. But yet still, we are, we are moving away. We are hiding. 
and we are missing out because he wants that friendly relationship with us. Let's stop the false humility. The word of God said he has called us friends. So now that we are making ourselves familiar with God in that sense, you know, whether we have been familiarized with him or not, so, some of us, we still abuse his grace. We still abuse his mercies. We still abuse his goodness. But brothers and sisters, nations, families, you know, he says, I have called you friends because Christ has laid down the word of God for us. Everything, there is nothing in the word that is a secret. He has laid it bare unto us so that what he has done, what did he say? He said, I am going about greater works. Will you do more than what I have done? So for us to be able to do the assignment, you know, we need to know the father's business and you know when jesus made a statement that he said i am here to do my father's business what's my father's business to do his will to save souls to heal to deliver to transform you know it was not the kingdom of god it's not only about food it's, jesus clearly said that to the enemy he said but well, it is righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost you know Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Christ wants us to, 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 to be righteous. He wants us to minister His word. He wants us to, to serve, not only in, in, a, in, in a form of false humility, but serve Him as friends. Hallelujah. You know, when, we, when you have your friends, you talk to them boldly. You know, you, you, you liaise with them. That's why He says to us in the book of Hebrews, say, come boldly to the throne of grace. Come boldly, but if we're always living in, in this fear, in false humility, we're killing ourselves of guilt and everything, that's a hindrance to us becoming the friends. We're still in a servant attitude. So I want us to pray, Lord, help me to become a true friend to you. May I not run away from what you have identified me as. Oh, if you're a child of God, in the name of Jesus, because we have been born again, Father, help us to see us as you <laughs> as you see us. You've seen us not only as servants, but Lord, you've seen us as friends. Help us to be true to you because you have opened it. The Bible says you've laid it bare for us. You've given us access in the name of Jesus. Father, help us, Lord, to be true friends. May we aspire. May we not only want to be at the gate. Help us to aspire to enter, to enter into the Holy of Holies, to enter to the place of access. You say you have come to this place where you don't need priests, you don't need anybody to intercede on your behalf. Father, help us to get to that place where we know we can access you, where we understand your business, where we know your mind in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we will not want to know you from a distance. Friends don't know friends from a distance. You are intentional. Father, help us to be intentional. Help us to be intentional. Help our motives to be clear in the name of Jesus. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I want us to pray. Lord, help us to be true to you. Because the Bible says, when you were unfaithful, God was still faithful. Oh, how many of our so-called physical friends that we have in our social circles, right? How many of them have remained faithful to us? Maybe you can only count one or two without being betrayed. But God is the friend that never betrays. God is the friend that, that stands his grounds on our behalf. God is the friend that defends. So the Bible says when the accuser came and he accused God's children, the Bible says he changes their clothes to clothes of righteousness. In the name of Jesus, he is the friend that sticks. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Father, help us, Lord. Lord, help me to, 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 to know you as a friend, not only as a son, not only as a servant. In the name of Jesus, help us, help us, help us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, this gives you the opportunity as well. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, wow. Well, this is an opportunity. There's a scripture here in front of you, brothers and sisters. It says, I no longer call you servant. The moment you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, wow. The Bible says he no longer calls you servant, but he calls us friends because you will start learning his business. We will start learning 
the mind of God, will start knowing what his intentions are for mankind and for humanity. Father, help us to aspire to be true friends with you. In Jesus' name, I mean, our friendship, Lord, help us, oh God, to be stable. The Bible says we should not be unstable like the waves of the sea. Father, remove us from the place of instability in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much, beloved, for praying with us today. Wow. I just want to quickly remind us once again about the series, fantastic series going on here in NICC. Come on, guys. Join us every Sunday from 12.30 to 2. Come and learn how to discover how to develop and how to deploy your spiritual talent, your gifts, hallelujah, your talent, your spiritual gifts and your abilities. Come and learn. Wow, we never stop learning, brothers and sisters, until we go be with our Lord and Savior. Amen. So please do join us. And the series has been going on for the past 30 weeks now so you can go as far back as you want if you want to catch up on anything you're more than welcome to go back to that hallelujah praise the lord reminding you again please remember to download your prayer guide as you can see the guide is, is loaded with different titles and, and scriptures under those titles that you can go and pray on amen so please do remember to do so and lastly, I want to remind you that this is your season and my season to prosper. God is still in the business of doing great things. Let's not allow the enemy to fool us, regardless of the situation. He's still in the business of doing great things. Hallelujah. So thank you so, so very much. I'm going to let us um, go through the rest of the announcements. But well, thank you and have a very, very blessed day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you, beloved brothers and sisters. Thank God, thank God for, everything. for everything. Thank God for everything. Thank God for everything. And thank you thank for joining, you us, joining today. us today. Now, now here now is your here opportunity is. to give towards NICC and our ministry activities. As you can see, there's a budget shortfall for this year. However, your donations are making a difference. Here is our account number, which is 836-937-40, sort code 2089-15. And you can also give to us via PayPal at paypal.me forward slash NICC giving. You can also give towards our senior pastor, Pastor Bumitokon via PayPal at paypal.me forward slash Pastor Bumitoko. Now, you will agree with me that we live in a broken world and all the attempts that we make to try and escape it, they generally fail. But when God created the world, he created it out of love that we may experience his love. But sin came in and landed us in this broken world. However, God being so good has sent his son, Jesus Christ, so that we may experience God's purpose, God's plan, and God's power, even in a broken world. Now, if you have made the decision to follow Jesus, please let us know so that we can help you in your personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Please remember that we have prayer for the nations from Monday to Saturday, from 12 noon to 12.15 GMT. And let me remind you that this is your season to prosper. Yes, your season to prosper.